Hi everyone, so the objectives of this video are firstly to define perlite. We're then going to define hypereutectoid and hypoeutectoid. We're going to locate their positions on the phase diagram and then we're going to determine their respective proeutectoid microstructures. Okay, so I have this iron carbon phase diagram again, which you should be familiar with by now. So first I just want to have a think about what happens if we're at that eutectoid reaction point, so at the 0.76. Well, in this case, we're moving directly from an austenite cooling until we reach into this position, which is going to be the ferrite plus cementite zone. So the microstructure at the end is going to be of just ferrite and cementite. And we call this microstructure perlite. So what is perlite? Perlite is alternating layers of ferrite and cementite, which makes sense since we're having ferrite and cementite at the end, then perlite, the resultant, is going to be the alternating layers of both ferrite and cementite. And it kind of looks like this picture here. So we've got alternating layers, strips of ferrite and cementite, and we call this perlite. Okay, but another thought, what's going to happen if we're at this point, for example, so move from an orsonite, cooling, we reach this zone here, which is going to be the orsonite plus ferrite zone, and then keep cooling, and we reach to its final cementite plus ferrite zone. Or, alternatively, what if we're on this stage here? So we move from orsonite, we reach into this point, which is going to be the, um, which is going to be the orsonite plus cementite zone, and then we keep moving down, and again, eventually reach into this ferrite plus